Hi, my name is Alina. I am a future student of uh, 22nd School in Moscow. And uh, I would like to go into a detail about what it is, who it is for, what do you get from it, and uh, some other questions. Um, so it's called differently from country to country. It's called 42nd Ecole in France, uh, Unit Factory in the Ukraine, 21st School in Russia, and uh, 42nd Silicon Valley in uh, California. Uh, but the convocational one is uh, the 42nd school. Um, it was uh, created and founded by a French billionaire, Xavier Niel, founder of telecommunication company called Ilier, and several other partners, including previous uh, general director of Epitech and uh, some of his former executives. The school opened uh, first in Paris uh, seven years ago in uh, 2013. Out of more than 80,000 candidates, only 3,000 were selected to complete a four-week intensive on computer programming. Uh, so it's called uh, piscine in French and uh, pool or swimming pool in uh, English, which is an intensive computer boot camp. Um, anyone older than 18, sometimes uh, there is a requirement to be younger than 30, but not always. Uh, can register for the piscine after completing logical reasoning tests on the website. Uh, so, a quick remark why it's called uh, the pool. Um, there is a theory that um, people who subscribe for that uh, idea, they are like kittens who don't know how to program, so they are thrown directly into the water and uh, they need to figure out how to swim on their own. Um, the school doesn't have any professor and professors, and it's open 24-7, um, 367 days a week, basically. You can uh, spend your New Year's Eve there and uh, all the national holidays, whatever. The training is inspired by modern ways to teach, which include peer-to-peer pedagogy and uh, project-based learning. The school has been endorsed by many high-profile people in Silicon Valley, co-founder of Snapchat, co-founder of uh, Y Combinator, which is the most popular or one of the most popular business accelerators of the world, um, and um, Brian Chesky, co-founder of uh, Airbnb, so like the most popular um, individuals of the entrepreneurial and uh, programming world. Now to my personal experience. Uh, so I applied for admission in January of uh, 2020. Uh, I applied for French campus, for Silicon Valley campus, and uh, for the Russian campus. Um, so I got invited to all of them, but you know, coronavirus, so I couldn't get anywhere about from Russia. Um, so I applied by filling some basic information about myself and explaining my motivation, why would I want to go there. I got invited to take two tests in the form of a game. Uh, the first one was to remember the card pairs. You know, when you are learning something, you make those games for yourself um, to, you know, to turn back side to side. Uh, and uh, another game was to program a robot to satisfy the task's requirements. It's like simply children game. Um, as far as I know, uh, you need to reach at least level seven to be invited to the next step. Uh, the next step is the so-called piscine. Um, you've got there a project every day, a project deadline. So. Uh, if a new project is given to you today, you need to turn it in before um, tomorrow's deadline of uh, 23 hours, 42 minutes, 42 in the name of the school. Um, and tomorrow you will have uh, another project, which you'll need to turn in the day after tomorrow. So it kind of works like that. Um, there are three types of projects. So individual, 
you need to turn it in and then you'll have two peer-to-peer -peer reviews before the Moulin app. Uh, it's a system that checks all the pro programs. It has its own testing systems and uh, tests to run on. Um, then there is a team. There are team projects. Uh, you are either um, passing your project with two people or one more above from you, and uh, all the people need to know uh, what you are working on because everyone will be asked separately. Uh, and uh, it's followed by a staff member checking it before the Molinet. Um, and uh, also the third one, there are exams, which are only automatically checked by the system uh, in real-time mode, so you'll know if you passed it or not passed it right away. Um, about um, how to get in. Uh, so nobody knows exactly how you are decided to be accepted or not, but there are some tips. So doing your best is obviously the main one. The second one, you need to show progress. So for instance, on your exam, um, the grades should uh, go up maybe just a little, but they just must go up. Um, the more projects you check, uh, maybe like not required ones, but the ones that you're just taking to check, um, uh, they better your score and the be better your score for um, the, your coalition. Coalition is like a team, like there are four, team, four teams uh, during the piscine and you are assigned to one of them. Uh, it's like a competitive spirit <laughs> or something. Um, and uh, most importantly, I think, uh, so use peer-to-peer uh, -to, -peer to know people, ask them for advice, and don't be selfish to give one out because it helps once you um, learn some concept to explain it to another person it may either uh, make you feel stronger and more confident in what you know or um, check some of your mistakes. Maybe you misunderstood something. Um, and it's better to know now than after the deadline has passed. So my colleagues even gave kind of like lectures for half an hour or like 40 minutes explaining different concepts that they were really good, on, good at. Maybe they've programmed before, they know it from other languages. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. Um, yeah, so if you have any questions, you kind of feel free to reach out to me. Yeah, I've decided to make my own blog. <laughs>